fire signs. Welcome to your weekend love reading. This is for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the 7th, 8th, and 9th of September. So we will go ahead and start right away here. Okay. So, um... For your guys, this first card out is judgment. So um, having to answer for what has been done in the past. Um, this is a relationship coming back together. Um, someone that you've been with in this life or in uh, past lifetimes that did not work out before. Uh, yeah, uh, you have been with this person in the past. And for some reason, it didn't get off the ground. Um, there was no, there. you weren't able to build a solid foundation with them because it just wasn't the right time. You guys were meant to put be put in each other's path for the time being, but um, only to separate, to be able to heal and, uh, and be able to come back together. The universe is giving you guys a second chance. Um, the next card out for you guys is the Princess of Wands. So uh, this is a beautiful card for you guys. You guys are really just you guys have a very like um, drawing energy about you right now. Your passion and drive seem to be attracting a lot of people. You, yeah, you're sought out by by many people. A lot of people sending you messages, wanting um, to, you know, spend time with you. Yeah, you're just, you're looking good, fire sign. Okay. So your guys' next card out is the Three of Swords in reverse. So um, you guys are getting over heartbreak of the past. Heartbreak from this relationship that um, did not work out before. So um, this took a long time. This uh, relationship really left a lasting impression on you. It, it left a lot of wounds, a lot of heartbreak, a lot of tears. Um, but it... it pushed you in a direction of healing. Um, for that, the re is, this person leaving you caused you to face your inner self, caused you to fix things within your own life, caused you to um, have to heal. It was time. But now that you have healed, the universe is bringing this person back to you for a second chance. The person you are dealing with. Whoa. Okay, let's see here. Their first card out is the fool in reverse. So um, they're scared to take a leap of faith with you. They're scared to to start this journey out because they don't they don't know what the future lies for them, and that scares them. They um, they want to take this leap with you, but they're just stuck. They're not sure whether or not. For one, if you'll take them back. For two, if if this is what's right for them. They're worried that you're going to leave them in the future. Their next card out is the Ace of Cups. So beautiful energy. The, per the love that this person has for you is very pure, very spiritual, very, um, you guys are very connected with each other. Uh, they want this new beginning with you. They just they're just paralyzed by fear at the moment. Yeah. Um, their next card out is the two of cups. So, you know, like I said, they feel so much love for you. They feel you are their future. Um, they, they know there's a special connection between you guys that, uh, they can't explain, but for some reason, why is this fool here? Yeah. Okay. 
the reason why they're not taking this leap yet is because they need to end something somewhere else. Um, so this weekend, the blow could be delivered. Um, that is what's holding them back from following their heart and starting this uh, relationship back up with you again. So, yep, they have to, they have to end a commitment with somebody else before they can have this new beginning with you. Um, they could be ending it with a Taurus or a Scorpio, but um, either way, this weekend the tower is is going to be coming down for the person you're dealing with. Once that happens, then you guys will be free to move forward into the next um, phase of this relationship. Okay. The Yeah, that's what's stalling this from moving forward is um, that relationship that the other person is still in. It's moving slow and... And they're just not able to move as quickly as what you would like. Yeah. But they are moving forward. They are leaving this situation with the Six of Swords. Um, it's hard for them. They're emotionally invested in this other relationship, but they're not um, emotionally available there. They don't want that relationship, but it's still hard for them to move. Um, there could be children involved as well. Uh Okay, so um, the Queen of Pentacles also came out as well as the Queen of Wands. Um, and these are the cards that I got. For the Queen of Pentacles, the world came out. And for the Queen of Wands, the Six of Wands came out. So what this is telling me is uh, this person that you're dealing with has a choice between an earth sign and a fire sign female. Um more than likely a Taurus female, but it doesn't have to be. It can be Virgo and Capricorn as well. Uh, yeah, they have a choice between the two of you. They are choosing to end this cycle with the earth sign. So the tower that's being delivered is not to you. It's to the person that they're in a commitment with. And that's this earth sign. Now, it doesn't have to be an earth sign, so don't get hung up on the signs, but that's the strongest energy I'm feeling, um, especially a Taurus. Uh, but it does not have to be. It can be any sign. But they are completing this uh, chapter. They are ending this cycle in their life um, by delivering this tower and um, and ending this commitment that they were, that they're currently in. Um, I do see them choosing the fire sign. So, um, if you are waiting on somebody to make a choice, they are choosing you and they will find victory and success within find, uh, within choosing the fire sign, you guys. Yeah. Um, so your advice is just to, um, keep investing in yourself, keep, uh, working on yourself. They're coming this weekend. They are bringing down the relationship with that they have with somebody else. And once that happens, then the fool will be able to turn in the upright. But, uh, most definitely they're choosing you guys because you're vibrating at a very high level. You're single, you're attractive. People are drawn to you. You got your shit together. You're stable. Um, and yeah, the bottom of the deck right there was just the King of Pentacles. So you could be dealing with a Virgo male if they're the ones making the choice. But like I said, it doesn't have to be. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Hold on here. I'll get you guys an angel card. So good, good movement in your direction, fire signs. This is a very good reading for you guys. Okay. So, um, the two cards that came out for you guys are playfulness and attraction. So, um, to recapture romance, allow your youthful inner spirit to find, 
have fun and shine. And you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So don't be so serious. Um, enjoy their time back with you. If uh, they are reaching out to you this weekend, just be playful. They're stressed out the way it is um, leaving this relationship that they're currently trying to end. So don't try to pressure them is what my angels are saying. So, okay, guys, I hope you have a beautiful weekend and I will see you next time. As always, I send you love, light, and God bless.